How do you think I describe you to others? Interesting. Dramatic. That's true. You've been using that word a lot, which is which is kind of annoying. But it's, dramatic doesn't have to be a negative thing. Okay, here's my thing. Just because my normal is beyond your ordinary doesn't That's mean I'm true. not dramatic. That's true. Maybe I think you're too plain Jane. But why does plain <laughs> but you're not, sort actually. of a negative connotation? It's not. I love basic. Listen, I love basic. I'm not basic. Like, but I'm, I'm not. I'm you're actually basic. not. You're not. Actually, actually pretty am basic. I'm look at you. You don't look basic Actually, right I was now. thinking about that today. <laughs> what do you think I describe you as? I'm asking you the question. Oh, he's always in his own world. I feel like you would, you would say something like that. Mm, I wouldn't say that. I would say, I, I literally say that uh, you take up more than you can handle in your head. And then you start forgetting things and so I have you, to keep so you check. Just throw a positive twist on it. It has to be, right? Because you're also hardworking. Like you do work a lot. Yeah. And the fact that you work so much that you start missing out on stuff because you have overcommitted because yeah. you don't want to say no to anyone. Like that's a I've problem. Stopped over committing. Yes, though. thanks to me, I would take that. I think I've just kind of slowed down. I mean, in a good way, I hope, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When do you feel closest to me? Um, the times when your phone is not around, and when we. This is gonna come back, you know that, right? <laughs> well, I, it's just the truth. When your phone's not around. Okay. And um, when we are not like worried about something emotion, mm. like I think when our minds are emotionally just like so, drained. So not not the last one year, but before that. Because no, no. The last one I, year I, has been emotionally draining. You, there, I think you can. I can just tell when you want me there, like right to have that moment, right, right. And when your phone doesn't need even need to be around. Mm-hmm. That's what you think too. Oh, you asking me? Oh, I don't know. Since we're asking each other. Um, I think I feel closest to you uh, when you actually come to bed at the same time I go to sleep and not stay awake till 4 a.m. in the morning Got because it. it doesn't feel like I'm married to you. It feels like we're roommates when you don't come to bed at the same time. Yeah. How do you think we have changed the most since getting married? Oh, okay. Yeah, we did. Um, I really genuinely think we argue less. Bigger things, I think we do argue, but we, then I think we kind of come to a conclusion um, where we both kind of agree on one thing or agree to disagree. So I think the argument factor has gone down. Do you think like, because this is how I look at things, yeah. like I don't mind arguing, but I don't want that argument to carry for the rest of the day. Meaning, That's what I'm saying. I don't want to be in a bad mood. Yeah, but we like, don't. I'm selfish because we I'm don't. like, I don't want to be in a bad mood, yeah. but I kind of want to make my point and I'm, I, don't find, I don't mind debating it. Mm-hmm. But then I don't want to walk away from that debate thinking, like, for the rest of the day being like, shit, I have to like... Yeah, you have to like carry it from... Yeah, get yeah. my brain back together. Mm-hmm. But when have you ever thought of that? Like, I'm saying, since we got married, more than our, an hour, that argument has lasted. I don't even remember since we got married, like where we argued and we have done that the whole day or not talked to each other the whole day. I, I do. I, rem- I don't remember that. Yeah, I when, do. When do you remember? Go ahead. When was the time that On we- the cruise. On the cruise, you know, that was different, right? Yeah, but that's two days. That was a two days. Yeah, but you that know was what two happened. Days on vacation. But you know yeah, what yeah, happened. But I know, I'm just saying. Yeah, well, that was a personal territory. How were you raised differently and how do you think it's affecting our relationship? Honestly, the only thing that affects us is like, um, I come from a family of like literally doing chores every oh God, day. Thank God you said it. That's so annoying. I don't want to generalize, but in India, most most people don't do their own chores. Most people, some people. Let me correct you. My mother, in the last sixty years, your, still doesn't have a maid. She did every single thing by herself. She your went mom to is work, different. government job, nine your mom to is six, different. came back, cooked. But most other people, even the ones that don't have a lot of money, right. have some because type of affordable. service. It's affordable. It's affordable. Yeah. Yeah. affordable. Service is affordable. Right. So they could do, they, they could afford, you know, whatever. But you have to look at it this way, right? You here, dishes for you here is super simple. You turn on the tap and then you adjust the temperature so it's warm enough for your hands. In India, we don't have internal heating coming from a middle class family. Yeah, absolutely. So you're plunging your hand in ice cold water in winters and trying to scrub and do. So even the basic task of doing dishes yeah. is a torture. Yeah. So that's the reason. So I think that that's helped. completely, I mean, obviously. I, I, I think, yes. So being the single kid, my mom taught me how to clean and cook. I could do that to survive. But yeah. I wouldn't do that 
as a everyday thing because that's not a thing for me. Now it is. I do it, but your family is your mom is super really clean on. and she's super hands on. She really wants everything spotless, and you're the same. So. I think that affects our relationship because I feel that pressure every time everyone's home. Like I have to do something. I have to clean something. But cleaning the house shouldn't be like a twenty-four by seven. In the I, I think it should be a twenty-four by seven thing. I, I think that's because a I, no, no. I think you should be conscious about it. I think if you do a little bit every day, it's a lot easier than to like wait until you have that perfect right. Sunday no, I and then do everything, which is kind of difficult. And also, honestly, no one wants to do that because they want to chill. What I've, I think the best things I've learned from my mom is how to manage time. That Your make, mom? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To make things in, like, to, like, make things in bulk and then freeze certain things. Or, like, if someone comes over within 15 minutes, she could pull out the pull oh, out. We the can works. do that in India. We don't have freezers like that. No, I understand. I'm, it's, I'm not it's saying a whole I'm saying here. I'm saying here. Yeah. yeah, no, I get it. So I think those are the most valuable lessons I've learned. But I don't know, we've got so, but you know, tangent. Actually, what you just said, that's so interesting because in India, if you serve some things to someone which is already made and even a day old, they take it as an offense. Sure, I can, so it's, I can it's, see that. It's a whole cultural thing where they don't even think it's a smart thing to freeze it and reuse it. They literally be offended that you fed them something which you have made days before. But then also there's a, yeah, I get that. And I get that in, in everything is like fresh. You get the- You have to. You, get you the, have to cook it right then and there. You don't even cook it right then and there. You get the actual groceries right every then and there Every single day. Too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to get it every single day. That's very different. Yeah. Because most people in America like eat really bad food that's been frozen or preserved. No, but I think what we do cooking in bulk is a very smart thing to do. It saves time. 100% agree on yeah. that. It's just not a thing. Yeah. Yeah. When have you seen me the most vulnerable? And what have you learned from it? Vulnerable. What have you learned from it? Without going to details, I think the huge fight we had in the beginning of our relationship, uh, which included, like, which was which was quite hectic and draining. And that is the only time which I mentioned stretch for days and days. I think that was the most vulnerable because it looked like you had something to lose. And because you're usually in control. Like it's usually, yeah, you are like usually in control. It's never like, uh, I think that was one of the things. I'm not going to go into details of it. I don't want to. And Mm -hmm. the second thing is when you came out to your mom. Because you really wanted to see, like you really wanted your mom to be okay with us. And I think that was until she put her hand on you and said, it's going to be okay. I think that was when you, I didn't see you, but what I heard from you, I think that would have been one of the most vulnerable times. And what have you learned from it? What have I learned from it? Like, um, I never want to see you in that situation again. Because uh, it's just like the image I I have of you is like, you kind of take care of me. Like I would take care of you. I would step up like you saw in recent, recent things, what you thought. I feel like you take care of me. Um, uh, oh, I mean, I'll, I, take, I'll take it. I'll take that. <laughs> I, I'll take that. I didn't see that, but yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll definitely take care of you. But I never want to see you in that situation because I think that puts me to work. Like what just happened in my family? I, I thought I'll be a hot mess, but I was not. And I never want to be in that. I want to be a hot mess. I just don't want to be in a situation where I have to step into the work thing. Not because I don't want to work, because I don't think I can handle it for too long. So I think... I just don't like it when you are vulnerable because that's not the image that you have portrayed. Neither I know. Yeah, because I mean, I am a vulnerable person. Yeah, yes, I know, but it's not. You're not like crying at the drop of a hat, like, oh, this happened in my life, that happened in my life. You're never complaining about stuff like that. Well, usually it's about the most important things. No, I'm probably least vulnerable because I'm like trying to use my brain a lot more, and then yeah, keep my that's heart what like in control. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened to me, right? So I yeah. think that those were the two times I thought you were most vulnerable. Then. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Read it. If this were to be our last conversation, oh, God. what's something you n- never want me to forget? You know what? I'll be honest, like. I feel like whenever I feel like I want to tell you something, I I just tell you. So there's nothing I don't, I don't like, there's no last words. You know how I feel. And like I have, I always want to be at that state where I don't have anything to say. Like I don't have anything that, no regrets on, like I don't, I didn't not tell you something. I tell you Mm -hmm. every day when I miss you and I tell you every day when Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. You do. 
You've so. been very vocal these days. I like that. What does my love feel like? Torture. Sometimes loud because it's always yelling. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this. Don't do that. Um, I think our love feels raw because it's like not the cookie cutter, like perfect story. And also it's different every day because we're like, it's very moody. And I think that's great because that's just life. Mm -hmm. oh, I agree. So that's it. What does my love feel like? Calming. What? Yeah, because you're always doing stuff like that. Oh, you want to watch Netflix? Here's food. Here's a drink. Like it's, it's, I think my love That's should be consuming mommy because and daddy, <laughs> daddy is all about the car insurance bills, and the taxes. <laughs> Mom is like, "What do you want to eat?" Mm -hmm. Daddy's you know? also like, "Don't lose your passport. Don't lose your wallet three times in a year. Don't use your li driving license three times a year." There it is. You know, there you go. <laughs> so I think I agree on that. <laughs> it's nice. It's working. That's yeah. Good. How do you love me? Hmm. Interesting. How do I love you? That's actually, no, actually I get that question. I don't get it. I don't too. love you like, oh, come here, let me cuddle with you. Let me do the whole rom-com cheesy dance in the living room to the Bollywood Why music. Why I like dancing in the living room? Um, but I don't, well, I don't, and I'm telling my perspective. I love you as in, I tell you every single day, don't <laughs> effin text and drive. Don't oh, so talk you... on the phone and drive. I want you alive so I can love you. I don't want you Not dead. It. it doesn't matter how much I cuddle with you if you're gone. <laughs> So the responsibility is don't stop your car after the stop line, stop it behind. Did you eat today? Did you lock the door? Is the gas off so the house doesn't blow up? That's how I love you. Where I, my basic instinct is keeping a person alive. I'm I glad that, that I have the same kind. No, you don't. Yeah. You complain like, when I don't do all the cheesy no, stuff. No, I stay up at night and make you food because I'm going the next well, day, I have other things to do and I have okay. to pack it for you and I don't want you to be eating out. Still eat out because I eat your food and I eat the other stuff too. But yeah, I know I get it. I didn't think of that. So like you're like the dad and I'm like the mom. <laughs> In the most stereotypical way possible. We are. We are. Yeah. We are. Well, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. That's it. This was nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I get it. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to explore your relationship, we have the end relationship card games available at our store at theskindeep.com slash shop. Thank you so much.